Hey guys, Liz here. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm having a great day myself, I must say so. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys on the topic of health. And I told you guys that I would be doing a video pretty soon, letting you guys know, uh, giving you some information about my health, uh, and the changes that I am making to my diet, why I'm doing it, what I'm eating, what I'm not eating, and how I'm exercising. So this is going to be very inspiring to you guys, and I really hope that it is very motivating and encouraging. So if this is something that you are interested in learning and listening to, then stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to get started. Um... I just want to first come on and say a disclaimer that I am not a nurse, I'm not a doctor, I do not claim that I have all the answers to weight loss or anything about food, exercise, anything. I'm just a regular person that's trying to live a healthy life and I do not know all the answers. So this video is just to give information to you guys, to inspire you. You know, just to encourage and help to motivate someone out there to live a better life and maybe get healthier and change their lives. I have been overweight for, I would have to say for a long time. I've been up and down yo-yo dieting. I'm pretty sure you guys know about the yo-yo dieting. I weighed 320 pounds. I lost 100. Kept it off pretty good. Uh, I've kept most of it off except for 30 pounds. So I gained 30 and I've had that 30 on me up until 2019. So it's just been a constant struggle, a constant battle. And you know, how many of you know that the battle of all of this is, is your mind? You know, it's not that we can't lose weight. It's not that it's so hard. It's not really hard. It seems hard because your mind probably is not made up. Now, I can say that my mind is totally made up right now for good, for a lifetime. My turning point to make me change the way I'm eating um, is because I had a health scare about a month ago. Um, I had to go to the emergency room and um, my blood pressure went up really, really, really high and it kept going up and it just seemed to never go down. My ankles and feet were swelling and, you know, I couldn't even fit in my shoes sometimes. It was kind of depressing. Um, I had these bad headaches and things like that and I talked about it in my Landro chat video if you guys are interested. Please check out my Landro chat uh, video. But um, ever since then, you know, it was kind of like a turning point for me. Um, it scared me. You know, it, it really, really scared me. It just, it was like a shocker. And maybe I needed to go through that. You know, you would say, well, why would you say that? That's not a good thing. Well, no, it's not a good thing. But sometimes in life, you know, we learn by experience. And unfortunately, that's, <laughs> that's an unfortunate situation to learn by. But hey, it worked. You know, and I'm still here, thank God. It just scared the mess out of me, okay? It really, really did. Um, and I decided, you know what? I'm changing my diet. I'm changing for good. I have said that so many times in the past, you guys. But I know that I'm ready now. And I was diagnosed with... Uh, stage one breast cancer in 09. You would think that would have changed me. And that's more serious than the blood pressure, you know, in my opinion. But I guess sometimes you just have to go through things, you know. Sometimes it takes more than one type of situation to happen to a person before they finally, before it finally clicks. You know, I guess I just had to be kicked in the butt <laughs> some more, you know, like kids. Well, you know, they keep doing things wrong and they're going to end up suffering the consequences. Well, that's pretty much what I have had to go through. So, and I'm tired of it. I am downright tired 
of holding on to this weight. Oh, I'm really, really tired of it. You know, I don't feel good about myself as a whole. Um, I don't feel attractive. You know, people tell me I'm attractive all the time. My husband does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. But inside here, in my heart, I have to feel good about myself. And I'm getting there. I feel good about myself a little bit more um, now than I did last month. But I'll get to that part in a moment. Um, having all this weight on me and being overweight has been miserable depressing. I could not stand to go to the mall to try on clothes. Oh, Lord. I hate, I still, at this present weight, I still hate trying on clothes. Because every time <laughs> I would put on clothes, sometimes I would cry. It's because the clothes just, I just couldn't get in the fit. And when I did buy them big enough, it was too baggy or it just looked just too ugly. A long time ago, me and my mother and my grandmother, we were going to the store to try on some new outfits for an event that we were uh, invited to. <clears throat> I was in there with my mother trying on these outfits and I went from outfit to outfit, back and forth, trying them on, trying to find something that I can be happy in. I couldn't fit anything nice enough. And I just started to, well, not boohoo, but I had tears streaming down my face. My mother said, well, hon, you know, you know, she tried to encourage me. She put her hand on my shoulders and everything, and she was consoling me. And she says, well, you just have to get it together. You're just going to have to get the weight off. I was so depressed. I was like, if I don't find anything to wear, I'm not going, period. <laughs> well, I found something halfway decent. Um, if I can find my, what I call my fat pictures, um, I will try to put them at the end of this video. So you guys just get a, a glimpse of how I used to look versus how I look now. Now, when I was in high school, it just seemed like I was so disciplined. You know, when we were younger, we just seemed to have it going on. I mean, you're more active. You know, I used to dance. I used to run. I used to run marathons. I was active. I'm not as active as I used to be. I can't because of the disability that I am going through physically. So I have limitations of what I can do, but I don't let those limitations stop me from exercising, from moving. I am determined to move. And that's I'm going to tell you guys what I eat. And I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Unfortunately, I'm going to try not to. You guys know I don't like wearing my glasses. But, and excuse the glare. But, okay, you know, I eat the basic foods, the fruits. And the types of fruits that I eat are, and I eat a lot of them, are berries. Like strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, um, raspberries boysenberries, which I don't like those. Those are gross. Cantaloupe, red apples. I love those gala apples. And whenever I eat a banana, I try, if it's a very small one, I'll eat the whole one. But if it's a big one, I try to eat half or a quarter piece of a banana because those are high glycemic. I eat a lot of vegetables, fresh vegetables. Um... I do cook them sometimes, but I try to steam my vegetables. And I try not to cook them till the, all the life is out of them. Because then you, you lose all the nutrients. Like for instance, um, there's a bag of broccoli, uh, broccoli slaw that I love to get. Broccoli slaw. Because you can make coleslaw out of it. And I like to put it in, in my little pan. Just a little bit of, uh, uh, not olive oil, um, avocado oil, very little bit of that, and some water to, you know, simmer it. And I let it cook down just a little bit. I try to keep it where it has a nice crunch to it, but a little softness to it. Right. I eat a lot of lettuce, you know, like salads, tomatoes, broccoli, cucumbers, it, things that are fresh. Um, broccoli. Broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables. I eat a high fiber diet. 
lots of beans, legumes, lentil beans, brown rice, quinoa, sweet potatoes, um, avocados, things like that. And what I'm doing, guys, is pretty much a plant-based diet. Things grown from the ground for the most part. There are some things that I eat that are not plant-based. You know, like for instance, pasta. Every once in a while I may have, I don't know, maybe a half a cup of pasta if I just want to taste it. But I don't put any cheese in it or anything like that. No butter, things like that. You know, I just try to eat it like the whole grain uh, pasta. That one, because it's a little more healthier. But pretty much I eat a lot of almonds, seeds, nuts, grains. Um, I can't think of every single thing I eat, but you got the gist of what I'm talking about. Lots. Now the things that I am not eating. Now this is controversial to some people. And, you know, like I said earlier, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you to not eat this because I'm doing it. No, I'm doing it because I feel like it's bad. I am not eating any meat, no dairy. That means milk, uh, anything with milk in it. Um, no eggs, no cheese. Um, I've been following a naturopath doctor named of the name Dr. James Dale. He's a naturopathy. And he comes to our church sometimes to, you know, just give us information about foods and what's good and what's not. And that was a big change. That was a big step for me to decide not to eat that. I mean, who doesn't like meat? I love meat. Who does not like cheese? Oh my gosh, I grew up on cheese. I mean, I've had cheese in my life ever since a little girl. Macaroni and cheese, all the delicious foods that I love to make and love to eat. But you know what? They're not good for me. And I, I, I feel determined that just leave it alone. I have stopped eating meat and it's been one month now since I have not eaten any meat or any dairy products. The thought of eggs now it just kind of makes me feel like blah you know the fact that we know where they come from the chickens but it's just i don't know it's just reality setting in so when the holidays come thanksgiving christmas now if my family wants to eat it and we're going out somewhere or whatnot over someone else's house hey i'll make the food when we go over their house and they have it out there, hopefully they have vegetables. Otherwise, I will make something for myself that I can eat on because I don't want to eat any more foods that's going to put disease. Now, this naturopathy doctor that I am dealing with, he says that eating meat and dairy equals disease in your body. Milk products, all it is is it gives you information. I've had inflammation in my body before and it's not good. I don't want that stuff in me. You know, I don't want any processed foods in my body anymore. I've stopped eating um, fast foods, you know, like your typical hamburgers, burritos, which that has been my life. I love burritos, okay? Um, all those types of food, the french fries, oh gosh, people who know me know I love french fry. I grew up on french fries, I mean, but you know what? Mm -mm. I'm not eating it. I don't want it in my system ever, ever again. And I'm determined to live a healthier life as a result of doing that. I just, uh, I'm gone, I've gone whole crazy with this and I'm determined to not look back. I do take supplements because you know when you don't eat meat you need to supple supplement it with something and I do eat a lot of beans like I said. Uh, I love beans you guys. I do a lot of um, recipes with beans. Um, 
I make a lot of different concoctions with different things. I mean, I be making my food taste delicious. I'm like, mmm. <laughs> my husband said, you like this? It is delicious. You know, I'm learning ways of incorporating different healthy foods and making into a nice meal. And it's, he it's healthy for you. It's fulfilling. I don't feel like I'm depriving myself of anything. I really don't. I feel good. I really do. I don't use table salt on my food. No. Ever since the uh, blood pressure scare, just leave that stuff alone. Morton's seasoning salt, in my opinion, that's not good for you. Lorries, you know, those are high, uh, loaded with sodium. High salted salt. I use the Himalayan pink salt. I will use that. I use a lot of Mrs. Dash. You know, I'm learning to train my taste buds to like certain foods that are healthy. You know, like the different seasonings. A lot of herbs I'm using, um, spices, you know, like cayenne pepper, which is very healthy, um, garlic powder. Uh, I use that. I don't use fresh garlic because my husband is allergic to it. Not really allergic to it, but you could say he is. It makes him sick, so he doesn't like the smell of fresh garlic, so we can't use that in the house. But the garlic powder, you know, he's okay with that. So I love me some garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, basil. Um, I'm just throwing things out to you guys because I don't have everything written down. And like I said, I take supplements, multivitamins, and I'm drinking a lot of water. I try, and I haven't arrived there yet. I'm trying to drink a gallon of water a day. Now, there are days, you know, like for instance, if you have an appointment or if you have to drive to a different city that's like an hour, hour and a half, well, sometimes that's hard to get all that water in because you got to travel. You know, I tried to do that one time, and I had to keep pulling off to off the freeway, you know, going to the bathroom, back and forth. I'm like, okay, today I can't do this right now. When I get back home, then I can go ahead and drink. You know, your body's supposed to be at rest when you get ready to go to bed. You don't want to overload your system, you know. So those days like that, you know, if I have an appointment, I just drink from in the morning time what I can. I'm doing much better with my water intake and my ankles and my feet a nice and I call them slim because there's no puffiness no extra fluid retention and you know because that does not look good yuck so now you know what I don't eat my energy level has boosted up these are the positive aspects of not eating these foods I don't feel stuffed I feel very light I feel very lean even though I'm not lean yet but I'm getting there slowly but surely. You know, the weight loss is coming, coming off from the inside and showing a little bit from the outside. You know, there's a lot of fat cells have been stored up in there. And, you know, when you drink a lot of water, that, that flushes all those toxins out of you. It flushes all the fat cells out too. So drinking a lot of water, it cleanses you. It helps your skin um, to be refreshed. Uh, it gets all the impurities out of your system. Um, and if you ask me, do you like drinking water? No, I don't like drinking water. Not really. Mm -mm. Sometimes, and every now and then, you know, it's like you drink so much water, you're like, oh, I just need a little bit of sweetness. Sometimes I will, and I will drink those uh, vitamin waters. Or, you know, if I just want like maybe, I don't know, two ounces of something. I'm, if, if I want a little orange juice every now and then, I'll just take a little bit, you know. And that does not it's not going to hurt you if you have a little bit. You know, leave the soda alone. Soda, oh boy. Soda is loaded, and I mean loaded with sugar. So, um, I used to drink Pepsi. Pepsi was, is, well I should say was, because I'm not drinking it anymore. But it was my number one favorite soda in the world. Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. Then strawberry, um, strawberry soda, you know, like the Fanta. Yeah, those are good. You know, I'm scared to drink those things now. I, I just, 
when I see it, I'm like, mm-mm, I don't want it. Mm-mm, it has a lot, a lot of sugar. As far as exercising, I am exercising five days a week, and I strive for 30 minutes. The, the least that I would do, and this is like maybe on a Monday, um, Monday I feel a little bit more tired because I got up at church, and it's like six days a week I'm getting up early, so it's like I only have that one day on Saturday to really rest. So sometimes on Mondays I'm a little more tired. My energy level hasn't gotten up to where it needs to go. So uh, sometimes I would do only 15 minutes of exercise, but I strive to do something. There's times when I feel very tired because of getting up, and I just say, well, you know what, I've got to do something. I don't feel like doing a lot of walking and walking fast pace or hopping around. So I would just use my weights, lift my weights, um, do some squats, you know, anything to um, burn the fat. Doing squats burns fat. Lifting weights does too. Um, then Tuesday through Friday, um, I go to the mall and walk. Uh, occasionally, I'll go to the gym, get on the treadmill, um, and do some of the other, um, you know, use some of the other machines that they have. Um, I found a new way to do these lunges because I used to could not do them that well because my knee popped and I had a nerve pain set in and I was like, mm, I don't know, I don't want to fall. So I have a new way of doing these lunges where I hold on and I just go down. I go, I just hold on basically because you know you're going down like this. So instead of doing them the way I used to do them, which is without holding on, I hold on and then I'm able to do it and I can't go as far down as, you know, some people will go. But of course I do a lot of jogging in place. I walk in place. Um, so that's basically what I do for exercise. Walking will be number one. Squats, anything aerobic. Um... I'm not able to use a jump rope right now. That's a little tough. <laughs> I tried to do that in the uh, in the gym. I just couldn't do it. I could not, because of the limitations that I have with my joints, you know, I couldn't get my shoulder to rotate, to bring that thing, you know, that rope around. So I was like, okay, I can't do that one, but I wonder if I can do it, you know, halfway down here instead of up over my head I couldn't do it so I said well you know that's okay I'll leave the jump roping alone but now the way I do my jump rope I pretend that I have jump ropes in my hand a jump rope in my hand and I do it like this and I'm imagining that rope coming over my head so, you know and going under my feet so that's how I do it and I just imagine it I don't have a whole lot more to discuss with you guys um I just want to encourage you, you all, if you are struggling with your weight and if you've been struggling for years like I have, decades after decades after decades, and if you want to change your life, if you want to change the quality of your life, you must, number one, make up your mind to do it. You don't want to have any bad ailment come to you as a result of having all the weight on you. If you ask me, do you miss any of those foods? No, not really. Do I miss eating meat? No. Mm -mm. Or anything else? I, I don't. No, no, no. I'm determined to live a healthier life for the rest of my life. This is a lifetime change. A way of life. I'm not doing this for just a short period of time to lose all the weight and then all, all of a sudden when I finish go back to eating all those delicious burritos. No, 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 no. Because I don't want this weight ever coming back on me. I don't want any more disease coming in my body as a result of what I've been stuffing down my throat for so many years. And that those foods are very bad for us. I wish I was determined more 10 years ago, but I wasn't. I just wasn't, you know, I wouldn't have to, I would not have had to suffer so much and so long the way I have 
but hey, I've been given another chance to get it together. So I'm going to do it. And I know that you can do it. If you're out there and you want to do it, just start slow. If you can only walk 10 minutes, walk 10 minutes. Whatever you can do, just start with something. If you can't walk right now, get you some dumbbells and lift your weights. If you can't do 10 pounds, do five. If you can't do five, start with three. To you, I hope that I have motivated you and encouraged you to make some healthy choices in your life. Okay, this first picture is just some basic fruit. You have some grapes, apples, and some strawberries. Next, I have some strawberries and grapes. And then I have some almond butter and I'm going to spread that on the toast that you see there. And I took a bite out of it, as you can see, and I have it paired with some fruit. Then for maybe a lunch or maybe a dinner, you see I have a bowl of lentil beans and that broccoli slaw that I was telling you guys about. I just made it into a soup concoction. This next picture, you see I have some brown rice, added some crackers. Next, uh, sometimes I will have some cut up vegetables and I just add some sunflower seeds on top of it and sometimes I'll drizzle a little bit of Italian uh, salad dressing on it. Now in this picture I weighed 320 pounds and uh, look at those shorts I have on. When I look at these shorts I say nobody that big needs to have shorts that short but that's what I wore that day this next picture here I was close to 320 pounds look at my face it was really really bloated oh gosh that hardly doesn't even look like me but it is now this picture, I was 320 pounds as well. Everything was just extra large. <laughs> By the way, those are my kids. If you didn't know, my daughter Angela and Aaron. And here's a seated view of me. Boy, boy, boy. Whew. That's quite large. This last picture here, this is the picture I was telling you guys about when me and my mother went shopping for an outfit. This is what I could come up with. Uh, the blouse I'm wearing is my own, but I was only able to buy the little jacket there that you see, and I was 320 pounds. Oh man. You know, it's hard to look at this picture, um, this picture right here, with the way I look. It just brings back so many memories, painful, painful memories I'm just very glad that I lost a lot of the weight and I'm, I'm not as big thankfully and I'm just getting it together and to all my old writers thank you guys for tuning back in you know I love each and every one of you thank you all for your support and if you are new to the channel and you like what you see please subscribe welcome and I will see you later in my next video Bye.